Welcome back. In our last video, we created our Laravel to do app and we just started with creating a simple demo homepage. So this homepage is going to be where all of our to do tasks are going to be created and displayed. So the next thing that we need to do is create a form for creating our to do's. So to start with that, I'm going to create a new route. So within our routes web file, I'm going to add in a new route and we're going to call this route tasks and create. So this will allow us to create a new task. And for this route, I'm going to add in a new callback function. And this is going to return a view of tasks. And we're going to have task.create as the view. So this is just going to be the form where we can create a new task. And I'm going to add in my new file. And it's going to be called create.blade.php. And to get started with this, I'm going to actually copy in some of the code that we previously had on our task index and I'm going to copy that in and paste it and you'll see already that we're having to duplicate some of our code a lot of this is a code that exists in this as well so you don't want to have your code exist in multiple places but we will address that shortly so for my task creation page I want to actually just call this uh, task I'm going to call this a uh, new task and I'm going to open up a new form and I'm going to close that form and I will start by adding in a div and we'll give this div a class of form group which is a bootstrap class and this will give it a little bit of spacing and we'll have an input with a class of form control and again this is the uh, bootstrap styling class for inputs and this will add in a nice little bit of styling to our input and we're going to also have a name of uh, task. Actually, let's call it description. And then let's add a label in as well. So we'll add a label. And we'll just say task description. And then you actually should also add in a for attribute as well onto this HTML element. And we'll call it description. So this is what's going to allow us to click on this and it'll uh, focus in on our description element. Or I'm sorry, on our input element. So if I refresh this, we should not see any difference because this is just still our home route. So to access this, I could just go to task create and let's do that now. So task create. There we go. We can see that we have styling for our new form. I'll also want to add in a submit button as well. So to do that, I can just do div class equals form group again. And within here, I could just have a button. And we'll say create task. And let's give this button some styling. But first, I want to show you what it looks like just by default. So there's that's the default styling. And the styling comes in from our browser. So I'll just add a class of button and let's just see what that looks like. It's plain. So let's add in some color as well. So button dash primary. And one last thing is that we'll add in a type to this button so that it will submit our form. So type of submit. Okay. And now I just need to add in a method into our form. And this method is going to be post, and the where it is posting to is going to be tasks. So let's try adding in uh, something and just see what happens. Okay, so we're getting a 404, and that's because we do not have a post handler for our task submission yet, and we'll do that in a bit. So before we move on, I want to also create a new reusable layout for our two routes that we currently have. So we have our index task index route and we also have our task create route. And you, as I mentioned, you can see that we have multiple areas that are being reused. So what I want to do is I want to create a reusable layout and within our views directory, I can create a new folder and we'll call that layouts. And within our layouts directory, I'm going to also create a new file called app.blade.php. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out first, we're going to start off by pulling out all of our reusable pieces. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to paste it into app, and I'm also going to take our bottom area. 
So the closing of the body tag and the closing of the HTML tag, and I can place that in here as well. So I'll fix the tabbing there. Let's remove these pieces that we no longer need, and let's remove the top part as well. So let's, let's try refreshing our task creation form and see what happens. So we've lost all that nice styling that we added in with Bootstrap, and that is because of our task creation view is no longer loading our style sheet from Bootstrap. So how do we do that? What we can do is we can extend our, our layouts.at file. So this is a directive and this is a blade directive. So this is the first actual blade that we've written. And this is why we have the .blade.php extension on this file. So what this is doing is it's saying to our blade templating engine that this task.create folder or this task.create file is going to extend our layouts.app file. So this is our app layout, our primary app layout, and we want to extend it. Now to render this content within our app.blade file, we need to also yield our content. And we need to also specify that this is our content section. So we can say section content and end section. So this is where the section starts and this is where the section ends. So let's try refreshing this and see what happens. Okay, so we'll see that we now have our bootstrap styling back in place. So let's do this again for our index, our to-do index. And this one's gonna be almost nothing on here now. So extends layouts.app. And then again, we're gonna create a section for our content. And we can delete this part as well. And then we're gonna say where our end section is, where our, this is where our section ends, rather. This is using the name of our section, which we decided was called content, but we can call this anything that we want. We can call this main. If we go to our root page, we'll see that there's nothing that's loading here because we're calling our section main. But if we call it content, we'll see that it loads again properly. So one reason why we would want to do this is so that we can make reusable changes throughout our app. This reusable layout is going to help us with avoiding repeating our code. Right now, if we wanted to add something that would change the appearance on both our task list and task create page, we would need to create multiple reused code throughout these two files. And we don't want to do that. So this is helping us avoid duplication. And if we want to affect cha have changes that affect our entire app, this is where we would do it here. So to show you an example of the type of change that we would want to add in would be to maybe add some spacing. As we can see, our input and our button is currently flush with the side of our browser window. So Bootstrap has a helper class called container, and we'll add that in by typing div class container, close our div, and then inside of here, we'll also yield our content again. So let's try refreshing this. And we see we have some spacing now, and this will also affect our task list as well. So earlier in on the last video, we were talking about possibly adding a nav bar. So let's try doing that right now. So we have a nav bar class that we can use on Bootstrap. And what that nav bar does is it adds a nav bar that we can place at the top of our app. So this one looks pretty good. Uh, let's go with this one. So let's just copy the code from here and let's place this into, let's place this into our app now. So under our body tag, we can add in that navbar code. And let me just stretch this out a bit and we can see all of our code at a glance. And let's refresh this layout here. So we can see our navbar has now been added successfully. So within our navbar, let's try removing some of the code that we don't need. So we don't need this disabled link and uh, we won't, we we'll only need two links. So we're only going to need two links. So let's have a link to our root file and a link to our task create page. And we'll say, we'll call this one new task. And this will be all tasks. And let's refresh that. So we now can navigate between our pages here. And let's try change. Let's try changing one more thing. So let's just call it our, uh, uh, stat cast to do app demo. 
So there you go. And we'll also give this one a link to our root file as well. Cool. So on this video, we created a form for creating new tasks within our task app. And we also added in bootstrap styling and we added some nice reusable styling throughout our app. We also added in this nav bar. If you're enjoying our series so far, be sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Also, if you like this particular video, be sure to give us a like, a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Uh, it'll allow us to keep creating videos like this for free in the future. And if you want to leave a comment and let us know how you're doing on your course, be sure to give a comment down below. And finally, we have the source code available for this course if you'd like to follow along. You can see a link to our GitHub repo for this series uh, down below in the description. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next episode.